What's up, guys? It is Jack and Gavin from AchievementHunter.com. And Gavin, Hi. we are doing five facts in Bioshock Infinite. Never this played This is the it. second part of our Bioshock Infinite five uh, how facts. How about this? Never played the game, never watched part one. All right, well, it sounds good. <laughs> so we're, we're doing facts number six through ten. So you, you, you absolutely played I watched you play the game. Like, didn't you do a race, like, right the first day it came out with Michael and Ray that we never released it? But you did play it. I, pl I, I guess I played it for like half an hour. All right, yeah. well, there you go. So you did All play right. it. Yeah. I'm half a, an hour. Yeah, here's, here's my expertise. I don't want you to lie to the people, Gavin. That's what I'm trying to say. That's All bad. Right, I'm sorry, people. All right, so let's do some more facts. We'll skip off the, uh, the the first part because we did that last time. So watch the five facts part one. Wait, you mean we're not going to do part one in part two? No, no. We've already done part one. Yeah, but what? I did part one last time. You made time. it sound like it would be weird if right. we didn't read out the fact, question. Fact number zero is Gavin wasn't paying attention to last week's five facts. <laughs> All right, number one, when Booker and Elizabeth board the First Lady airship, Elizabeth knocks Booker out with the same red wrench used by Jack in the original Bioshock. This is just one of many references to Bioshock that Irrational put in this game. So, did Wicked. You know, did you know the main character's name was Jack in Bioshock? I didn't I didn't play Bioshock. I, I barely played Bioshock, or the original Bioshock. I didn't play. Something about, like, Fontaine or something. Yeah, pre-Fontaine, right? The the runner? The guy with the, the like, the oh, Frank wavy Fontaine. hair? Frank Fontaine? Fontaine Fishery! <laughs> Uh, at Infinite's main menu, there seems to be members of the Bottle Street gang from the video game Dishonored hanging around. This isn't completely unlikely, considering Dishonored's developer, Arcane Studios, worked with 2K Marin in Bioshock 2. What does it mean so it isn't completely unlikely? Well, like, there's a chance, like, those guys have worked together in other stuff, so maybe there's actually, like, a chance that that actually is them. So it's not right. just a coincidence, it could be real. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Calm yourself, Gavin. You're just full of energy today. All right, this one's going to be a big one. All right, here we go. Here, number three, where, where this is the hump with hump day one. It's right in the middle. Earlier versions of the game featured nost nost nostrums? Nostrils. nostrums as gameplay elements. These nostrums would make permanent changes to the player that couldn't be removed once used. However, Irrational felt it would be better for players if they could remove these changes from time to time. This led to the creation of the gear system in the game. Oh, my God! That just blew Gavin away. So the nostrils... Yeah. You put them in, you know, your nostrils and change. So I have quite big nostrils. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You can fit a lot of things in there. Yeah. All right, the voice recording for Infinite was atypical for most video games. Troy Baker, Courtney Draper, and Ken Levine, Booker Elizabeth, and the game's creator, respectively, spent a significant amount of time recording lines and improvising scenes together. Levine even decided to keep the voice actors in the dark about the game's plot so they wouldn't develop a strong or so they would develop a strong chemistry while performing. And if you know the end of the game, it could be really creepy, depending on which way the chemistry I like is. it when voice actors record together. I think that's a good idea. It works out nice. You can play off of each other a lot easier than that. But all right, I was always amazed that like when a movie like Shrek came out, none of the actors have ever met. Do you know the in Shrek, uh, Mike Myers actually re-recorded the entire movie after they after they had done it once? Really? He, yeah, he, the, the initial recording, he didn't have that accent. Oh. And then he went back and did the whole movie with the accent. So what accent was he doing before? I think just a normal... Arr! <laughs> Yes, that I Shrek be a pirate. <laughs> Did you say Shrek be a pirate? <laughs> All right. My throat. Uh, and last but not least, 1999 mode was an idea that came from a discussion between Ken Levine and a college student who expressed his disappointment in the fact that many choices had no long-lasting impact in the first Bioshock. Bonus fact: this mode gets his name from the year that System Shock 2, a previous Rational Games title, was released. There you go. Sweet. So that's it. That's five facts. Part two of Bioshock. Facts number six through ten. And Gavin's going to go play this a, game. A ton of numbers there. You said you, numbers. No, one plus one. It's Bioshock Infinite.